The hour is late, or is it early? As you wish, but you'll unbolt your door for me. The CBS Radio Workshop, dedicated to man's imagination, the theater of the mind. Today, La Grande Bretèche. Avery Claflin's recorded one-act opera based on Balzac's classic story of a woman's infidelity. Original music composed by Avery Claflin, libretto by George R. Mills. The action takes place in the wife's bedroom of La Grande Bretèche, an estate in the Loire Valley in the early 1800s. And as the curtain rises on the first scene, the wife has hidden her lover in the closet of her bedroom as the husband enters. The husband is in high spirits, having just returned from an evening of gaming. But the suspicion that his wife is not alone is suddenly aroused when he sees that the window draperies have been tightly drawn. You draw your curtains close. Are you afraid of dark? I should not leave you sleep alone so many nights. Hung in a pair. 
is ugly and stares as though it were alive. It shall be walled. You stir, my love. I said the door is ugly and shall be walled. My still. And lay the bricks More tears, my love Give me an hour A moment only So I catch my breath I shall be
little Pierre to fetch his tools, bricks and some mortar, to turn a door into a wall. Why do you gape? There is no need for haste. My head is heavy, and my eyelids droop for lack of sleep. There is no need for haste. Any time will do to make a wall. It is my wish to do it now. I never noticed it before. Oh, give me one hour, one more, one more. The husband calls for a mason in order to have the closet walled up in which his wife's lover hides as the lights dim on scene one of La Grande Bretèche. As the second scene opens, the closet has been walled in with bricks and mortar. The husband pays the mason and they exit, leaving the wife in the silent room. Dearest, 
said you were alone. No lies this time. Your lover's there. Can you not hear him choking? that used to smile 
You have been listening to the CBS Radio Workshop and the premiere broadcast of Avery Claflin's recorded one-act opera based on the classic story by Balzac with music composed by Avery Claflin, libretto by George R. Mills, and produced for radio in New York by Paul Roberts. Patricia Brinton was heard as the wife and Richard Owens as the husband. Le Grand Bretèche will be made available on long-playing records by composers' recordings at your music store shortly. This is Ted Pearson inviting you to listen next week when from Hollywood we make a case against the old Chinese proverb that a picture is worth 10,000 words on the CBS Radio Workshop. Right now, city and rural police are alert to the tragic death and injury tolls in motor accidents. They're bending every effort to cut down these tolls. If you drive carelessly, it may be that the easiest thing that will happen to you is losing your license. So drive carefully. You may lose your life. America listens most to the CBS radio network.